Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black and Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. Terrence. What's up? And Tiara. Hello. All right, guys, we are back. This is episode 268, uh, The Deliverance. This is Lee Daniels' uh, latest film. Uh, the log line here is an Indiana family discovers strange and demonic occurrences that convince them in their community that the house that they live in is a portal to hell. This is based on true events. No, it's not. Um, okay, so. I mean, it is. Technically, it is. You know, they said that it happened. So. Yeah, sure. Uh, I also, I read the Wikipedia. I read the, uh, for the actual event, the Amon's haunting case. Interesting. Okay. Um, we'll talk about it. So this is starring um, Andre Day, Glenn Close, and <laughs> Anthony B. Jenkins, as well as uh, Omar Epps is in this movie. And uh, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I'll go to Tiara first. Uh, this, is, uh, this is your type of movie. I know you're a big horror fan. <laughs> um, what did you think of uh, The Deliverance? Um. Tell the truth. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what I liked about it first. <laughs> um, the cast. I mean, this is like a real, like, great cast of, of actors. Um, everyone on this cast is, is a real, like, established, serious actor. <laughs> like, Andre <laughs> Ellis, Andre Day, hell, even Monique. The kid from oh, Stranger Things. Guys. Yeah, she is. Yes, she is in this um, with her with her boy uh, Lee Dan Daniels. I guess they've all fixed up their little issues or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then Glenn Close, um, who starred in a really great show called Damages. Um, oh, yo, I watched, that <laughs> I watched that show back in the day. She's in this movie, y'all. This is a very good. Um, and. You know, so okay, so that's one point that I really liked. Um, the other thing, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you really try to skirt around the truth here. Go ahead. I, I, I'm gonna get to the 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 room for improvement. Um, mm, interesting. Uh, the other thing I I, I liked was um, having a black family uh, be centered in a demonic um, possession story. I feel like we don't see a lot of that. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, it would it would be nice to have like a conjuring type of film, but with black people. Um, I thought, uh, yeah, I think that's probably about it um, as far as like things <laughs> that I really liked. Um, things I did not particularly enjoy. <sighs> I don't understand how do I put this? <laughs> Go ahead. The the literally everything else I did not enjoy. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> Oh wait, I'm sorry. The other part I did like was um Andre Day be beating up the um the the street kid bully that threw a rock at her son. I was like, yes. Yeah, yes. no, that was fair. I, I, I was Yeah, here. I was like, I agree with this. Yeah, um I agree with that. But I, I think I think this was a missed opportunity to have a better horror director do this type of project because I just don't think Lee Daniels is subtle enough to weave in the really spooky elements that makes um, a, a, a demonic possession or that's tied to religion type of story scary. And part of part of the thing that that makes it scary is that it's it's a slow drip even from like this, like from the start of the movie, but then you kind of have to weave the characters into it. I I sat sat in my living room yesterday, just thinking like, how did we get to the other two kids being affected by this, and and then like Alberta being like, there's something wrong with the house. I'm like, how did we get here? Usually it's like a slow thing, like hey, the the youngest uh kid is being weird. And then this kid is starting to be weird. It was more like a, hey guys, we're here. The house is haunted. Bam, we're throwing shit in your face, quite literally. And um, she delivered, speaking in tongues, the end. And I was like, okay, cool. 
Well, I never don't. I don't need to watch this again. Um, that's, that seems like a. Fact. But yeah, I I hope that's clear about how I felt about this movie. Um, <laughs> I would recommend it if you have, you know, maybe some laundry to do, and if I had to give it a score out of five, it'd probably be a two. But at least the cast was dope, though. Okay, that's fair. Um, Micah, I'll go to you. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to echo a lot of what Tiara said. This is look, I. Uh, you know, effort for uh, trying, you know, putting putting uh, black people in different types of movies, right? Like, we don't all have to be in, you know, historical, uh, to, you know, um, uh, trauma porn or, or, you know, we don't have to be gangsters and shit. Like, this is, you know, A for effort. It, 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 was, it was cool to see something different, like black people can do horror to, um, you know, I, <laughs> every, every, I mean, everything else is like, it was fine. It was a fine movie. It was a fine movie. This is not my type of horror, right? Like, I don't like ghost shit. I don't like, you know, hauntings and, and religious horror. I don't, I'm not into that. So I wasn't really into this. And, um, so I, you know, I'm I'm a little apathetic on this movie, right? But it was fine, I guess, right? Like everybody's making a big deal about some of the dialogue, right? Like I could smell your nappy pussy, right? Like <laughs> all right, but like that was funny, but like is it any different than your mother sucks cocks in hell? Like that, that's no, what that's, the whole point was, they right? Had to throw that, exactly, in fucking like to match that, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, you know, okay, good, fine. Uh, some of the dialogue was, I don't know if it was written poorly or if it was delivered poorly. And I, I you know, I, yes. I'm, I think it was. <laughs> when I messaged you know, about my, I was like, the dialogue in this movie is weird. It had nothing to do with that Glenn Close scene. It was just like a normal scene. I was like, People don't talk like this. Like it was just, it was odd. But anyway, yeah, yeah. It, it's just kind of, it's just kind of odd. Um, I, I, I was like, what the fuck is the deliverance, right? Like this looks like an exorcism. Like what the fuck is going on? Apparently, there is a difference between a deliverance and an exorcism. Uh, but this movie is is giving you an exorcism, right? Like a deliverance is a little more involved right and it's uh, more like a process and not just some like let's put the baby on the bed and and, and <laughs> dodge the pea soup that's about to come out their mouth you know what i mean like right it's, it's, it's like isn't isn't like deliverance like when you when you come down to like the pulpit or whatever i don't know what the things are in church a deliverance is basically like, like, you're like i no longer want to sleep with men like isn't that the whole thing and then you walk off wait right? right? The delivery, right? Like, doesn't that, doesn't that the the delivery? He's making he make fun of <laughs> make that. Delivery, boy. That guy is still gay, him. by the way. I don't know if he knows that. He's still gay. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> anyway. But guys. yeah, this movie wasn't particularly scary. Like, we watched it last night. Um, no, was not at all. And, uh, you know, performances, Andre Day, I mean, she was fine in it. You know, it was. Uh, she played Billie Holiday in in another Lee Daniels movie. Same um, performance. Yeah, it, it was it was fine. The same performance. Oh, <laughs> yeah. like, she was the same character, nigga. <laughs> right, exactly. She was the same damn character. So, uh, yeah. you know, whatever. That's that's my review. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Did y'all agree with how she popped her kids in the mouth? Or the look, head sometimes or... I feel like uh, sometimes I feel like that's not the it's not the worst reaction. <laughs> like I don't do it, but I, I get it. I understand. Shut up. Um, I'll, I'll go because I I, I want to leave Terrence to be the last because Terrence, you are the horror uh, you're the horror guy. So I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on this. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, look. <laughs> When this movie opened and they're like, this is based on like true events, like my in initial thought is, no, the fuck it's not. This is stupid. Don't say that. Um, <laughs> ghosts and demons are not I'm real. A believer. <laughs> I'm, I'm not yes, a believer. They um, they're real. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> agree to I'm just, being serious. They are. No, I know. You believe I'm in ghosts. Ass. 
I know, which is the weirdest thing is that that's what you believe in. All yeah, the rest you of you are like ghosts, but not the Holy Ghost. Which yeah, is he's like not. Nah, I don't ghost. know him. I don't know. <laughs> yep, he was wearing a sheet. That's different. Um, no, I look for me. The bar is set so incredibly high for demonic religious possession movies um, with The Exorcist. So it all feels just not quite as good, right? Like if you've never seen The Exorcist, what's wrong with you? One. Um, two, like that movie still holds up. It's still creepy. Before you continue, Jay. Yes. Uh, have you ever seen The Exorcist DR? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. I knew, because I knew it was coming. I knew it was like, <laughs> yes, I've seen it. <laughs> okay, you continue. <laughs> she was like, shut up. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> She's like texting him like, don't, don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't ask me. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it, the bar is set incredibly high. Like I've never seen a sort of exorcism movie that I thought even came close to the exorcist, right? Um, whether that's the original or that sort of like, here's the extra footage one they released a number of years ago as well. Um, so yeah, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's as good as that or anything like that. The, the ending sort of sequence, if I'm being honest, thought it was kind of weak like like how they got rid of the demon i was like i mean besides her getting choke slam like she was in the wwe i was like all right well that was pretty good um yeah it, it all felt pretty routine um i couldn't help but think that andre andre day is that her name um i was like wow this woman really looks like great value rihanna and then at one point she had like a rihanna poster in the room i was like Okay, that makes sense. Um, they exactly look so much better. That's yeah. exactly what my wife said. I mean, they really do look quite a lot alike. Um, the kids were fine as far as the acting was concerned. Look, I thought Monique probably had the best scene in the movie, if I'm being honest. Like, Monique isn't funny, but I think Monique actually could have a real <laughs> career. She's not funny. I'm sorry, she's not. I love her for real. Um <laughs> But I think she actually, I think she actually has an opportunity to be a pretty successful dramatic actress. Like I do. I think like the scene she ask it for. No, I know, but I'm saying like you know sometimes that can be like a one off, and then you you never get recognized yeah. for that shit again. But I think she actually has legitimate drama yeah. talent. I don't think she's yeah. funny anymore. I didn't ever think she was that funny. No, um, so but I think funny. that ship has sailed. But I think like dude, just fucking go for drama shit. Like I, I think she she's actually pretty decent at it. Um, Glenn Close is in this movie, uh, which I think was supposed to lend some level of like gravitas to the film. Um, it's weird. I mean, she does a pretty good job as a as an old wigger, like as the fabric of the black community. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga nope. said that that character. Yeah, that's why yeah, everybody everybody knows in Alberta she is the fabric of the black community. All right, all right yo, but like. A part of white half for that sentence, right? It didn't need to be said. <laughs> like, come on, <laughs> yo. Like, <laughs> yeah, like the Albertas. Albertas exist in the fabric of the black community. I'll grant you, she is the fabric of the black community. Feels like I a think bit it's of part of the fabric of the black community. Not, yeah. but I'm like, no, no uh, I didn't. Have it's it. not. It's not an. Is what it feels like is that's a really unnecessary thing to say. Right. It's like this, you know, this white basketball player is is amazing. You're only saying that because most basketball players are black. You know what I mean? Like is, it's a, is Eminem a part of the fabric of the hip hop community? I mean, I think some people would say that. I mean, a lot of people would say. Many is people it? Would say. No, I'm just saying a lot of people would say that. <laughs> yeah, but can you Look, again, we give, we give a lot of we 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 invite Thank way you. too many people to the fucking cookout. I'm gonna yeah. start to I'm gonna start to close that um, gate and lock that bitch up. You know, throw it away, the, throw it key. So yeah, I, Mike like I I didn't think I didn't think her performance was bad necessarily. Uh, I found her relationship with Omar Epps to be uh, gross, gross, <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, it was yes, like a weird that, thing. Because I I yes, literally I looked up their that. age difference and I was like, I don't like any of this. Please stop What's doing. What age that. get? He's fifty one and she's like seventy seven. That's twenty five right. years. That's fine. They're, um, all, they're both grown adults. Yeah, they are. They are. And they're they're yeah. allowed to fuck after dialysis or whatever. That's cool, but like, <laughs> <laughs> chemotherapy, excuse me. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but I don't want to see it. 
is this is <laughs> um so yeah um yeah whatever whatever out of five <laughs> yeah. close in those jeans bro <laughs> i was like I that was like when we we're like look at her look at her wearing a titty out <laughs> I was like, Glenn Coast, I did not know, even though it's it's probably like <clears throat> extra stuff they put on her. But uh, yeah. Hey, look, you don't know. She's 77. Like, leave that woman alone. She worked hard. Uh, all right, Terrence, uh, you're the saving grace of this movie. Uh, how much did you love this? I might be the saving. No, I am not the saving grace. Um, <laughs> look, I saw it, what, like the day after it came out. So I might forget some stuff, which is not a very good sign for the movie. Um, it was fine. It was fine. Uh, I think the actors and actresses in the movie were perfectly fine. I think it was the dialogue. Uh, you said it wasn't the dialogue or the actors or the actresses. It was the dialogue. It was pretty terrible. Um, I couldn't take the movie seriously and nothing really scares me. anymore. So this is not a horror movie to me. Um, there were parts where I was just laughing like, yo, this is ridiculous. And then Glenn Close shows up and I'm like, <laughs> All right, man. And then I looked up the real story. I'm like, why did he even do this? Why is she a white woman? What was the point? But okay, yeah. sure. It's yeah, a, she's not white. Her mother's just is a nigga. Like in real life, she's, her mother's just black. I don't understand why he did that. Um, but he took probably because um, Andre Day. Is Andre Day? Does Andre Day have? She might a, be. Is she well, Andre right? Day is like. She might. Yeah, that might be it. That might she's be actually it. a very a very good singer, by the way. Um, I don't know who this person is. She's a musician. Um, she's a very good singer. Um, yeah, everybody was fine in it. And I, I kind of felt the, you know, the family drama in the beginning, but knowing that it was going to turn into Kojic exorcism, I had, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I was just kind of see how I was just kind of, I wanted to see how they did that. And it just went to the, the same old tropes, just like the same shit that you've seen in every exorcism movie. And I'm just kind of like, all right, I've seen this. I've seen all this before. Uh, kudos to having like a black exorcism, but it could have been done better. And again, Lee Daniels and subtlety, they don't get along. They, they just, there's no such thing. They started at a hundred automatically. I'm like, God damn, you're beating your kids. Yeah, you know, this, this woman okay, was cool. <laughs> fucking ridiculous, yo. Like, I was like, I yo, I feel like CPS needs to be called on you and your children need to be taken away from you. Like I don't even give a fuck what your circumstances are at this point. Yeah, get these kids out of this. I mean, I mean she she here. she literally threatened to lay her mother out if she wasn't in chemo, and then her and her mother would call each other bitch, just like, <laughs> was like Jesus Christ. Yeah, that this whole scene in the parking family. lot. Yeah, that whole scene in the parking lot. Like, if you weren't going through chemo, I'd lay your ass out. I was like, hey, yo, relax. <laughs> it's still it's elder it's it's elder abuse. It is all the woman is seven. Yeah. What is what is up with biracial light skinned black women uh <laughs> verbally laying the smack down on old white people overly made up with bad hair? <laughs> it's happening everywhere. <laughs> it's a, it's an epidemic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, it's but, just but you know I, I if they had if they had done something slightly different towards the end, I think I would have liked it a little bit more than I did. But it's just the same old shit. It's just happened to be black. It just happened to be a black family. Uh, yeah, like y'all said, whatever. Yeah, I just saw cool, that. Man. I just saw that message you sent, Tiara. <laughs> that's funny. Yes. Uh, yeah, he looks. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's <laughs> a that's an ignorant ass uh, uh, tweet. Um, I love it. Look. Um, yeah, it's it's fine. I I do have a question before we kind of get into this um into the breakdown of this movie. I find that there is nothing this movie is really trying to say. And and that's very weird. Like am, am I alone in that? Like I didn't feel like it was saying anything. It was just telling the events of this story with no sort of like oh, I guess there maybe is a like sins no. of the mother type of thing, but they didn't really no. delve into that. I felt like it was a I think I think the point is was redemption, because yeah. I mean, like it, it it's it's about oh the Jesus her. Thing. yeah I mean but I mean but you see the relationship she has with her mother and her and her kids and it's like is she gonna break almost a, break the generational cycle of I guess parental abuse and alcoholism and drug use or whatever and then by the end she has a little come to Jesus moment and then um, yeah back with her husband and 
everything's fine. Yeah. So I feel like all the, you got to the... do is all you got to do is accept uh, God into your life and yep. uh, you know exercise those demons. I thought this was, I this was, this is that patented you know sledgehammer on the nail Lee Daniel yeah. stuff. Yeah. See, I and and I guess for me that seem. I mean, the religious aspect is is obviously right out front. It's so close to my face. I just did not even think of that. Like I'm like, oh right, yeah, uh, of course. Like, oh, I, Jesus. I think Jay. I think the real reason is that I just you I just did not so anti religion that you are just like <laughs> go for it. Get the fuck out of here. I'm like what? Huh? Nigga, I don't look, even let me let me tell you. Shit. Look, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you could have seen my face. The second she started talking in tongues at the end of this fucking movie, man. Like, I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. What are we doing? Here? This is real. Like, like, Look, like my face. Yo, you ever I'm see like, people do that in real life? You ever see people do that in real yes, life? Yes. Yes. And Yo, my face is the fucking... same. Why are you pretending <laughs> and saying gibberish? You know what you're saying is bullshit. You're seeking attention like a fucking child. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't believe you. I don't believe it's, yabba dabba do. Like, no, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. <laughs> Come on, yo. It's nonsense. Well, okay. If, if it it's wasn't never very a clear. real language. Okay. Can we just. It's not Sumerian. <laughs> it's not an old dying language. It's not Esperan, uh, Esperanto. It's none of that. It's just a bunch of like, when my daughter couldn't talk, it sounded the same. Like, no, you're pretending. Wow. Look, um, turn it off well, if you're mad. Turn it off. <laughs> turn the episode off. It's fine. Well, this is dumb. I, I was like to point out, if it wasn't obvious, she's literally facing her own demons. She's right. literally facing <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, yo. Like this is a for, this is a forest for the trees type of shit, yo. Like I'm like I'm so annoyed by the general premise of this movie that I'm just like, I, I don't I don't see anything. I don't see anything. What are you trying to say? I just I just didn't give a shit. Like it's a family, it's like it's a it's a family in decay, and you need Jesus in your life. The end. Oh, I that's mean, it. I know that's that. It. Yeah, that's it, nigga. Like, <laughs> this is Lee Daniels, dog. Also, what the fuck I guess you, you know what you know what I'm an idiot because I'm looking for something else. That's my problem. I mean, okay, I, I, guess, <laughs> I, guess, I guess I guess the other one is is that a, a house look, a house is not always a home. It's always just where you and your family are, or whatever. <laughs> are those lyrics? It does sound like lyrics. <laughs> because clearly it was the house that was like tearing the family apart. Was it? It was the house Maybe. beating the shit out of her kids. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get those bruises? You the house. playground. <laughs> Look, I know, this, I know this place is set in, the, the story is set in Indiana, but it was actually filmed in Pittsburgh. And as a Ravens fan, I agree Pittsburgh is a portal Pittsburgh. to hell. <laughs> it, was at, it was definitely set in Pittsburgh because they they uh, they had someone with the Steelers thing, and I was like, "Gross!" Yeah, but it's, well, you but it's supposed exactly. Nah, yo, it's no. That's an Indiana. error in the movie, yo. Like yeah, it is, it is supposed to be set in Indiana. Oh yeah, no, it was supposed to be set, but I think the movie actually took place it's, in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, yeah. yeah. Well, why do like, they say? Indi- do they say Indiana in the beginning of the movie? Do they? I don't. All right, Nigga, I, I saw it like a week and a half ago. I don't know. Maybe they. Did. Oh no, you're right. You're right. I apologize. <laughs> you are right. I apologize. Like the real story took place. The in real story there. took place. In there. Oh, I, that's I, where I, my I, confusion I, lies. Okay. I thought that's, that's why they my cast um, on my ups because because they were like, oh, this is set in Pittsburgh. Let's get him Mike Tomlin looking like. I thought that was all like part of the plan. Oh, don't don't do that, to Mike Tomlin. They, He's so- <laughs> Omar, I've still got a fat head. Yeah, damn shame. Um. All right, let's get into it. Fuck. Um, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. um okay, so the movie starts out this is like creepy paintings, uh all a candy man, very similar. Um and we see First this of all, I would not sleep in this room with this fucking painting. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, you're like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't like this. No, no thanks. Um so yeah, we see this little boy, uh what is his name? Um what is the little boy's name? The boy's Andre? name is Dre, and the demon's name is Trey, Trey. Because that's not fucking confusing at all. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, man. Yeah, that was uh, Yo, again. Uh, he didn't write that, it. But 
He could change it. He's the director. He could fucking change the name. God damn. Yeah. Who wrote this? I mean, you changed the look. Two white dudes that wrote this shit. Probably. So Dre is uh, looking at this painting he did, and it's creepy and weird, whatever. And his mom comes up, and he wants to show it to her. And um, she's like, all right, come down. um, Come down and get some dinner, right? She's just like kind of a general dick to him for no apparent fucking reason. Um, then we smash cut to church because church, um, where, uh, we meet Alberta, uh, the grandmother and she has the kids at church and, um, for some reason, um, what's her face? Uh, Tasha Smith is the pastor, which I don't buy at all. Um, I don't like her in roles Tasha like Smith this. Is a pastor? Yeah. She's the, she's the pastor in the beginning. Right. Um, yeah, you don't buy that. No, I don't buy that because this role seems really weird for her. You know what I mean? Like she, she feels like a much, she plays characters that I, I, I find that are much more interesting. This character feels very flat to me. And then like, she's really good. Like I, I like, I like her a lot in everything. And this character just seems like kind of wasted for her. Um, like, I feel like she would have done well in the Monique role, actually. Like I, I could have seen Oh that. yeah. I think she would. I think she would have fucking killed it. Um, so that's where we meet Alberta, uh, who is the grandmother. She's this uh, white woman played by Glenn Close, um, and she has all the trappings of a uh, white woman who has been her, who um, does all of the stereotypes of uh, black people because she's been around black people for fucking fifty years, right? Um, which is annoying to me. Um, so the family's all sitting around having dinner. The three kids, um, uh, the mom. And the grandmother, and this is where the dialogue just starts going going off the rails. Like they're eating food, and um, the grandmother's like, mm, she's like making a face, and she's like, "Mama, shut the fuck up." I'm like, "Wow, what?" It- <coughs> Hi, good good afternoon, <laughs> welcome to dinner. Like who talks like this? I thought um, I missed something. That was like the way it started. Yeah, like, was there, like, a preamble situation? Like, this is why these two women are beefing. Like, no, nah, she was like, yo, fuck you, mom. Like, or Alberta. Like, she don't even call her. Yeah. She barely calls her her, her mom. Um, But she does say, mama, shut the fuck up, which is a choice phrase to your mother. Um, And she's like, I'm just saying the f- food's got too much garlic in it. And and she was like, I, who taught you to cook like this? Definitely not this, you know, cook this shit. It's got too much garlic. I was like, again, why are y'all so mad at each other? Like, just relax. Um, and then the little boy, uh, uh, Dre, says, hey, mom, can I have some milk? <laughs> and she's like, no, you uh, you already drank all your milk and you're lactose intolerant. If he's lactose intolerant, why don't you give him the cup of milk? Okay. Um, it's going to be pissing out of his ass in 30 minutes. It's really a bad <laughs> idea as a parent. Um, but... He's like, but I, you know, but I want the milk. And she's like, you're lactose intolerant. He goes, well, you didn't go to a doctor. You just say that because you don't want to buy milk because you're cheap. And then she just backhanded him in the mouth. I'm like, yo, the movie's been off for seven minutes. What is happening? <laughs> and that baby was bleeding. She yeah, busted yeah, that she baby. Busted busted his lip. Yeah. All right, well, all right. Well, am I supposed to like this woman? Because I don't. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And I was I, like, the introduction. like, like she couldn't do like almond milk or soy milk or like, <laughs> like nah, fuck that. Shit too, that shit costs it's all much. the same price. No, yeah, no. Nah. You want to drink this? You look, look. They don't have all that bougie shit in Pittsburgh, yo. They don't have all that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, they don't. Man. They don't have what almond the breeze with the hints of almond. honey over there. The hints of a hint of honey. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh. let, let's let, look at look at fancy pants over here. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um. So yeah, she. Uh, she she hits uh, Dre in the mouth. He starts bleeding, and then she's like, "Oh, you know, like look what you made me do." Like, okay, I'm a child. Cool. <laughs> Good job with the whole abuse, and um, and so then you start to kind of see how the kids are living. Uh, they're generally unhappy because their mother is not a recovering alcoholic, sort of a a, a current alcoholic who's drinking less. Um, but still likes to get fucked up from time to time, like days ending in Y. And, um, and so they're, they're just kind of generally miserable. Uh, we then see the mother, like see some flies, uh, flying around like the basement door. And so she opens the basement door and she can smell something terrible and she just closes the door because that's definitely what you do 
when you have a home and you smell something that's like dying and you you see flies. You just if I just close the door, everything will be fine. That was from the white side. That was yeah. and you Alberta just moved in. Shirt. And you just moved in. Yeah. Yeah. Question. What made Glenn Close choose this role? And I would love to know or love to see the table reads of her acting out this character and her regular Glenn Co- Close look, but putting on this almost black accent mm. to, to do this. I, I just, it, I, it feels like <laughs> this was possibly a dream come true so she could step in the shoes of a black adjacent old white woman. Have any, have any of you guys seen that really Southern, like she, like if you had your eyes closed, you would think that was this was a black woman, a, a older white woman. She has like that Southern accent. She sounds like she's from the yes. hood. She Look, did the like, she wait, like coach like Glenn YouTube? Close for this role. Wait, like, like YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Oh no, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, Dr. Tr. You've heard it, right? Yes. Like she's super black, but she's a white woman, quote unquote. Like you know, sounds black. That's the woman that that's that's the woman that they got to coach Glenn Close for this role. That's weird. Okay. So that's why. I mean, you know, they, look, they, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm not going to lie. She doesn't feel necessarily like besides like her waist. Well, she's actually good in this movie. Like she she's doesn't feel out of place in the film. No, she doesn't. No. Um, look, I think Glenn Close uh, did this movie because Glenn Close uh, probably realizes at this point in her career she's not going to win an Oscar. And so she's like, you know, I'm just going to do what the fuck I want to do. Yeah. I, I think, I, honestly, I think that's it. Um, she she's been nominated. Really What's that? She was she nominated. Billy Elegy. Yeah, she was nominated for that. Um, Billy Elegy. Yeah. yeah what really I, the, the J.D. Vance movie. Yeah, yeah uh, as what? Well, the fucking couch salesperson? No, she the was meatball. the mom. She was the, <laughs> the meemaw or whatever the fuck. Yeah, she was the, the wild the, makeup. The, the cracked out meemaw. Or, excuse me, heroin uh, ad- addicted meemaw. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's kind of the thing is where she's just like... Now I'm not gonna win an Oscar. Fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just dress up like a nigga in this movie. <laughs> Lee Daniels. Like who cares? And look, you know, whatever. I get it. Get your money. Um so so yeah, at this point, they again she closes up the the basement um on some white people shit, like you know, call and exterminate. Um her son uh wakes up in the middle of the night and just starts chugging milk like crazy. Um and just letting it pour all over himself. And you're like, well, that's not the way you do things. You're acting a bit odd. And this is sort of the first major sort of oddity that is kind of shown to us. And he just kind of walks out in the middle of the night and sees a dead bird that smashed against a window while he was doing it. It's all, you know, general horror trope, demonic tropes, right? Um, We see (coughs) next, again, the movie is just like beat, beat, beat. Um, you see the uh, the kids walk into school, uh, specifically um, the older son, Nate, played by Caleb McLaughlin from um, Stranger Things. He's holding his young brother's hand while his sister's walking behind them. And uh, somebody calls him like a, like a pussy-ass bitch and then throws a rock and hits him in the back of the head. It's fucked up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and, like, again, this is this establishes that they're bullied in school and uh, I – Okay. Okay. <laughs> it would have like, been really great for, to get huh? more story right. on these kids and this family than what we got. Would have been great to get more more back. Yeah. Backstory. I feel like they didn't give they didn't give two fucks about anything that happened to the older two kids until the sort of third act where they're just like, oh right, they're here. So like, right. Fucking do some <laughs> magic shit on them. So it. For me, there's there's so much of this movie that I'm just kind of like, whatever. Why? why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Why? Like, why is this happening? Why? Why like, is this happening? Is- right? And and it's just, it's like he forgot. It's it's like he wrote the story. Like, okay, he read about the 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 true story of this happening, and he wrote a story and hyper focused on the one kid, and then he was like, oh shit. There's other kids here, and then just like kind of wrote them in, in like in the after, in the after. I mean, it's it's fine. I'm like I'm not used to like humans being MacGuffins, and and that's what these kids are, right? And the yeah, you know, if if the Exorcist had 
one child, then we'll do three. Because that's even better, right? But yeah, I I don't know, man. Like the whole like even with the story, right? The story of the family who was possessed, you know, jumping ahead a little bit. It would be it would be different if it was like the exact same makeup, right? Right. Like, but but that family was a, a husband and wife and two kids, right? Mm-hmm. Not yeah. a mother, three kids, <laughs> and a grandmother, right? So like, right. it just doesn't. I don't know. There's no there's no parallels. There's no like. The only parallel it's, is the one kid, and it just and I. I and it's I like don't why? Know. It, it, no, it goes back to like, but but why is this? happening to this family why did it happen to the last family what is the significance of this house i mean i don't even i don't even need i don't even need too many whys right because like i'm not here for i'm not here for them to explain some shit that they can't explain right like like because then that would be even worse that would be just you making up making some shit up and if it don't sound right to somebody then they're gonna be like well this is fucking bullshit so they just ignore it right it's the same reason why nobody calls the cops in a slasher movie because like that would make too much sense right like this is this is i but i what i do need from them is some sort of consistency i don't need to know why this place is haunted it's fucking haunted right but i need them to i i don't know man i need them to make me care and yeah. i don't care I, because, and that's my problem i don't that, but, <laughs> no, but that, that that's that's what that's what i mean when i said like i i do want them to establish like why these things are happening and i thought they would have done a better job with that with Anjanu ellis's character because she's just there to explain something that uh, you know, you could have hired an act, a lesser known um, actor or actress to do that same role, and you would have gotten the same result. Yeah. I think from 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 that scene. <clears throat> yo, she's criminally and, and I think, wasted in this movie. Yo, she's criminally- yes, like it, and like because like I, I watched that character. I'm like, okay, fine, we're gonna get some real backstory about like why this house is so fucked up, and then we get the story about the other uh, family, and even then, I'm like, but why, like, why that family like did it not happen to other families? And I think. That's some, something that's common in a lot of these these types of horror films is that you always start with a some sort of backstory about that house. Like you'll 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 see like the family move in, and you'll see like the family find out yeah some fucked up murders happened here. And then you'll get like a whole backstory on that, and they just didn't do that, which is why part of this movie felt like you know almost empty or or, ho- or hollow. Like why is this happening? I felt like I didn't care because I, I, I haven't seen too many of these movies, but I, I believe the hook with these types of movies is that you have to care about the characters from the beginning. Yeah. And I don't yeah. care about this. I don't care about Ebony Jackson. I don't care about Alberta Jackson. Uh, the, I care about the kids only because they're kids, right? Like I, I really? cared about this little boy because he's the one, he's the victim. Right. And I care right. about the other two kids because, because you know, they're, like they're kids, but this movie is about Ebony me. Jackson going from a fucking, essentially a degenerate to being delivered. And I, I, I they, they go so far with making her so unlikable that mm-hmm. I don't give a shit mm-hmm. towards the end of the movie yeah. where they try to yeah. redeem her. You know, and the redemption um, and comes too fast, by the way. There's no the redemption gradual. comes real fast. Right, there's no yes, gradual. It's, it's like, it's there, like there you're, you're smacking <laughs> your kids, you're smacking your kids. Fuck the you, father's bitch. father's not I, around. I'll kill you, mom. Uh, you know, you could die on chemo. I don't give a fuck. And then it's like, um, throw some water, Fucking fist fight the other Rihanna, Jesus, <laughs> and then and credits. I'm like, wait, how did we get here? <laughs> like, Honestly, it's very I, weird. I, by the way, that's my I, entire summary of the the movie. That's it. The um, you know, and, and I know, like, I don't like to try to rewrite or whatever a movie sure. when when thinking about it, but I I would have loved to have this be like, okay, you have Ebony, her family. 
Ebony is well on her way to recovery. She's, she's actually in a better place than she's been in in a long time. Her relationship with her kids still kind of like, eh, but clearly they, they all love her and then whatever. Same thing with her mom. They move into this house. It's supposed to be a fresh new start. And then like this creepy house starts making her kind of fall back into like older habits, but maybe they just don't know why. Or something is, is starting to tear their, their family apart and maybe they had to face their demons in that way. But it's like, she's horrible from start to finish. Kind of. Until yeah. like the last like five minutes. Yeah. 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 They just push it off. Yeah. Like, All right. Oh. Whatever. Uh, look, um, <laughs> <laughs> when, when the kids come home after getting hit in the head with a rock, uh, which is a wild thing to say out loud, um, the mom is like, um, not on my watch. And so she, she finds out like, oh, the corner boys did this. And she just walks her uh, ass over there and was like, work, 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 work. And then kicked the dude right there. <laughs> um, and, and mushed his face, which is a, which is a solid, uh, a solid uh, uh, two piece. I like Got that. Cherry on top. Right. Yeah. Like, kicked him like, into like don't and then disrespect. And yeah. this is supposed to make you like, okay, she really, she still loves her kids. Like she might punch him in his jaw every once in a while, but she still loves her children. Right. I mean, this, is supposed to, this is one of the, like the good things that she does. Like, but also, she's got a fucking temper. She flies off the handle. I mean, I don't see anything uh, wrong with it personally. But <laughs> I mean, she, this this woman is the most reasonable person of all time. Look, <laughs> don't, um, don't throw rocks in the balls. Man. Fucking with your kids, hundred percent agree. Nope. Like, uh, you do not agree. You shouldn't. She shouldn't have done it. There's there's a, there's a five year old who I want to kick in the fucking balls, but <laughs> I'm told yeah. that I have to let him handle that on his own. All right. But I'm a yeah. grown man right yeah. now. <laughs> I work out for reasons like this to just pick a five year old, throw him down the street. Um, tell him, tell, tell him to like when they get behind him, and then like as soon as that kid turns around, knock his ass right the fuck out. How how hard does uh does he does he does your son hit? He don't hit hard because he's a lover. The other one's a fighter. <laughs> he's the you, you, got, you got to airdrop the little one in, into that class. Yeah, yeah, yeah the like, little yeah, like, one is next is a fucking. Devil. If he's if that kid is a bit of a problem, like do what my father told me to do. That one guy, like just walk behind him, and as soon as he turns around, just knock his ass the fuck out. You won't do that shit again. Look, I ain't got look, I ain't got no problem with that. I look, I told him, <laughs> I, I told him, I told him, you know, if he tries to do anything, tell a teacher, right? Whatever. Now nah, fuck that. Fuck and, then, and then and then and then and then and then if he does it again, like you push him. Like just push him, like because he'll he'll stop. Just do it. I know you got to know his boundaries. Look, right. um, here's you got to punch a bully in the face. Look, yeah, here's, yeah. My, here's my suggestion. You got to be like a light skinned black woman. You got to be like a light skinned biracial <laughs> black woman. <laughs> and you know what? I, it, it, with, and with that light skinned biracial black woman, her younger sister it, it seems like the one that's down the fight. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, absolutely. Absolutely, she married a she married a black dude too. And that black dude looked like he fight. You did you see that tweet where someone was like, "Oh yeah, is uh, you know, right. is, is she single or whatever?" It's like, "Yeah, she's not single." Um, and her husband her looked husband like like fight. looked like he fight, and then he responded, he "Was like, I do fight." <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious. That old family is fucking funny. Um, look, uh, my suggestion uh, for your son is to send your younger son and have him stack on top of the older one like Master Blaster and uh, go fuck <laughs> it up. <laughs> it would, uh, see, but that the thing is, it would have to be the reverse, right? It would have to be the reverse. The, 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 the larger child would have to be on the feral one. And, 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 it, just, <laughs> and it just wouldn't. Well, however, it's going to work for them. They're going to be all right. Well, you have brothers. Um, so then we get a scene of, um, like after she comes back, um, from kicking that kid in the nuts, which was hilarious. Um, she goes back on the porch and Alberta's like, look, you got to chill out. You can't fly off the handle. And she's like, you may have your church friends fooled. Shut up, bitch. Like, I know who you really are. I was like, <laughs> Fucking your mom like this is wild. She um, asked her mom, "Why did you smell my breath?" And I would have laid bitches out for doing less. And I was like, "Jesus!" I, I mean, she might. Have. Lord. <laughs> she talked. She talked she to Alberta like down. she talked to Alberta like Alberta won't take that wig off and like <laughs> start swinging, um, which is, you know, spoiler alert for later. 
I was like, yikes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they had Glenn Close looking crazy. Um, so at this point, she's sitting out back with her son. Her son's on the swing. She's sitting on the back porch. And um, she, you know, she sees this, like, the flies coming around the basement door or whatever. Um, and so, of course, she just tries to ignore it. And then she she asks Dre who he's talking to because Dre is just talking to himself, like like an imaginary friend type of thing. And she's like, oh, nobody. He's like, nobody. And she's like, all right, then uh, go back in the house. Like, fuck out of here. Um, go help your grandma. And then she just starts smoking weed. So, you know, after you get done kicking a teenager in the balls, you know, you need, you need a joint. I get it. Um, then the family is sitting and watching some some movie. I don't know what it is. It's got a lot of, <coughs> of uh, old white people in it. And um, they're all reciting it. All the uh, all the women in the, the family, Alberta, um, uh, the the oldest daughter and and the mom, uh, Ebony. And, and so it it's, I guess, shown like they do have a connection through their generations. Like they've clearly watched this movie together. That is something that like is just sort of a, a family ritual or what have you. Cool. I guess. Um, I don't care. Um, <laughs> it, it has to be, a, it had to be like a classic movie that niggas love. I don't know. I don't like a lot of nigga movies. I'm telling you, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I gotta, Look, old, it, old, a lot of people be like reciting movies from shit that they've seen years ago. I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know that movie. Like they, they recite the color purple. I don't know any lines from that fucking movie outside until you do right by me. Whoever the fuck said that. That's it. I That's all know I know. That. I know when she like that. she fucking <laughs> up, like she like, tries to put like a root on him. Um I don't yeah. care about that movie either. Um never I seen that it. movie. I neither have I. <laughs> don't ask us to do it. I don't want to do, do it. it. <laughs> I hear it's great. I honestly uh, hate it. I, I I know it's great. Steven Spielberg did a great job and Whoopi Goldberg is awesome. So is Oprah. Um, so at this point, um, we see Alberta putting on, uh, her mini wigs. Um, she, she puts on her, my chemical romance wig. Uh, that's weird. And then she puts on her, her, her blonde wig. And the fact that you laughed means you know exactly what I mean by that. And it's accurate. It is. It's the, it's the goth wig. It's just Only like, like blonde. It's, it's like swooped over her uh, face. Um, so Alberta heads over to get chemotherapy at the local clinic, um, and somebody's like, "Hey, what's up, girl? Come on, sit your your sexy ass." All of this down. shit is a waste. All of it. Every single minute of <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's an hour and fifty-two minutes long. This shit could have been an hour thirty. Why is all, any minute, of this in here? Forty-five minute YouTube short would have worked, or like a short YouTube video. <laughs> because, like, you know, it's the you're at the it's at the. What, it's not dialysis. I keep thinking it's dialysis. But it's chemo. Chemo what is it? No. Vitas? Vitas? <laughs> is that the dialysis place? That yes. That people go to? Yeah, Vitas, Vitas, something like that. That's like the a Vita? Is, No, is it? Yeah, is that the, Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the one they take the, the plasma. Vita. Yeah, that's a, yeah they, no, it, it's, it's a fucking dialysis place. They got them on the corner. The Vita. They got them on the corner in every fucking black neighborhood because. Yes, it's the Vita. It's a, it's, a, it's a corporate uh, <laughs> corporate entity that is stealing from. Yeah, they take all kinds of money from people. But yeah. it's a yeah. it's a dialysis place, right? That's dialysis. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What's the one that the, what's the one they they take your plasma and like you sell it on the black market? It looks like it's probably the same. I don't know. They got they got one off Rolling Road. I know that. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, they they taking people's plasma there too. Like niggas are broke. They're like just take it. <laughs> like, I'm not Morbius. Uh, how much do you get paid? I wonder. Stop! Stop trying know. to sell your blood to make rent. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. Like don't do that. Yeah, that's precious resources. <laughs> Please don't do that, black people. Um, if you can't. Um, so Alberta is there, and for some reason she's like, I'm gonna try to bag Omar Epps, uh, who is um giving her chemotherapy. For some reason, this nigga's allowed to wear a do rag uh, at his job, oh, which is you, fucking yo. weird, fuck? you know. Not, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like this. Why does he have it on? And he's bald. <laughs> Maybe he has cancer. I don't know that. Maybe but he's you know, bald like, though. But he's already he, bald. He should have no, later without no, hold it. Hold on. He's not allowed to administer chemotherapy if he needs chemotherapy. That doesn't make that's gotta be a conflict of interest. Like that that can't be a thing. Is it? I'm really sorry. <laughs> I don't know I really why that works. Right that's got that's gotta be. There's gotta be a form <laughs> or something you gotta fill out for that. Um no, but these two <laughs> black women 
these two black women in this scene are hilarious because they're like, mm, look at her with her titties out trying, trying to fuck that young man. And uh, Alberta's a nigger because she was like, excuse me, huh? Can I help you? Like, all right, relax. Why are you being so aggressive? Um, <laughs> and for some reason, um, Omar Epps, his 51-year-old ass is like, yes, I think I will. I'm good. <clears throat> I'm good. No, thanks. Um, then you find out Alberta is two months behind on her um, chemotherapy payments. And she's like, oh, um, damn, Medicaid fucked up. I, I'll, I'll, call them on, I'll call them on Monday to sort it out. And she's like, uh, we haven't accepted Medicaid in a year. And so she finds out that Ebony has been secretly play, paying for her chemotherapy. Um, and she, she kept paying for it because she knew that Alberta liked that place. So that's why she sent her. Um, and this is the second thing that's supposed to make you like up Ebony. It's, yeah, like she's still as, as contentious as their relationship is, she still loves her mother and doesn't want her to fucking die. Even yeah. though she says, "I'll punch in your face," <laughs> like, I'll lay your ass. Yeah. And, you know. Oh I'll wow! Well, boy, uh, I mean, uh, you're supposed to love your mother. <laughs> like what the fuck? Like I mean, Eminem I, don't like his mama. Uh, yeah, I get it. I get but, it. And he's a part of the not, fabric not of the black ships. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I look, I get it. But you don't get kudos for doing something you supposed to do. Like not like I just Well, here's the thing. I what I what I will say, because apparently her mother was a fucking horrible person, right? And even through all of that, she still loves her. But like they just really don't fuck with each other like that. They love each other, they don't like each other. That's like, fine. Just because you had a, a an amazing relationship with your parents doesn't mean everybody no, I has that. <laughs> I, I, one, I didn't. I didn't. I get it. I you get didn't? it. Uh, not amazing. Look, it ain't bad. No, 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 one, I don't think no one. I don't think everyone's had. I don't think anyone's had an amazing relationship. With their parents. No, everyone's this nigga's not. Nah, this nigga's lying. He loves his mama. Shut up. <laughs> no, of course. Oh no, well, of I'm course. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> see, but, but you see what you just said? You see what you just everyone did? Loves it. All right, then. All right, then. <laughs> I just contradicted the fuck out of myself anyway. Because I love my mama. I don't know. These are other weird ass niggas. Right. They don't love like, their parents. Right. And that's but, what I'm saying, you know? Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't I, get... I seem to have walked into my own bus, so I apologize. <laughs> like, I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to give this character any kudos because she's not a monster. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's, that's funny. <laughs> like that reminds me. Like you ever seen that clip? I, I think it's like with uh, Kevin Hart and The Rock. And The Rock is like telling some journalist, like she's like, "Oh, I heard you just bought a a house for your mother." And he's like, "Yeah, I just bought a house for my mother." And she's like, "Oh, that's so sweet." And Kevin Hart's like, "It's about time. Like you're worth like a billion dollars. Like why are you giving this nigga credit for this? Like no, you were supposed to do it." Oh, look at me! I paid for my mom's house. Like so what? <laughs> And the rock is just fucking laughing his ass off. Like, you shouldn't get credit for that. You're supposed to do that. Shut up. Um, so, yeah, um, we see Ebony uh, coming home from the bar. I just assumed that she was a hooker. Like, in this scene, I was like, oh, she came home. <laughs> uh, but it turns out uh, she just came home from the bar uh, just generally drunk. And um, and she's like, she's Alberta's there. And um, she's like, don't worry, I didn't drive. I'm like, okay. And um, Alberta's like, oh, yeah, I went to chemotherapy today, and they said you've been paying my uh, my bill. And I don't – like, I didn't really understand, like – I mean, she's not mad about it. I guess she's surprised that her daughter, who often threatens to beat her up, is willing to uh, give a shit about her. Um, <laughs> so I think she's just kind of in shock, which, again, <clears throat> you're supposed to do that for your parents if you can. I mean, I certainly would uh, if my parents found themselves in that situation. Um, yeah, knock on wood, I hope not. Um, so then in the middle of the night, um, Ebony wakes up. She she has this, like, she has this fucking dream. And um, she's like, sees her, sees her ex-husband. That whole thing, I don't understand any of this. So please feel free to explain it to me. I don't get any of it. They make him out to being like doing something weird at one point, and then they just let that part of the storyline go. And then at the end, she's like, "I'm back with your daddy. We gonna work it out." I was I like, think "That was her father." Was that yeah, supposed that's to be her what father? I got from it? That's her yeah, father. I got that. That okay. was her father. I think because towards the end, like she she explains, you let that 
you know, again, this is a whole like broken family situation. Like, let you let my father fucking was it sexually abuse me? Sexually abuse you were kind of a piece of shit, also to me as yeah. well. So okay, all right, again, yeah. not necessarily the clearest, but okay. Um, <laughs> when she's talking, you know, the son Nate comes downstairs because he hears his mom and she's like threw up because uh, she's been drinking. Uh, she's like, "Hey, where'd you get all that money?" I found, or like, he asked her, "Where's my money?" Because she found a bottle of, uh, like, a half drunken, drunken bottle of Absolute Yuck, um, do better, and uh, a, a wad of cash, like in his um, in his closet. And so he's like, "Hey, where's that money that you took?" And she's like, "Where are you getting all this money? You better not be doing drugs." And he says, "Oh no, um, my dad sends me money orders and I cash them." And she's like. Why is he doing that? And he's like, I'm saving up money to get away from you. And she gets fucking pissed and um, and starts yelling at him. And then he pushes her and she falls down. And then the youngest son comes in and then so- somehow he trips. I like, left. I'm sorry. He trips like he tripped on something and a TV fell on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a fucking Rube Goldberg machine. bro. <laughs> Well, like, hold on. Like, 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 a, TV, a TV falling on a kid is funny. She gets, he, she so, slaps him. He pushes her. She the the, the sun goes over, trips, falls, and it's like, blah, oh shit!" Oh. I was like, "What the fuck?" Is you know, most parents, <laughs> this 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 character that I'm supposed to feel sorry for at some point because uh, she paid for her mom's chemo. Ooh, uh, when they get pushed by their kids. They, especially when they know they're being an asshole, they tend to look inward, right? Nah, she's drunk. <laughs> yeah, so you never been drunk. Uh, I don't know. You ain't never been I, drunk. Look, Walking the home drunk like scenes, got done hooking. Like, yeah, I got to tell you, the drunk scenes pissed me off. I hate being around drunk, like sloppy drunk people, yo. I, re- I don't like I'm being around drunk that. people. I, mm-mm. No, 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 no. <clears throat> you call me whatever fucking names you want. <laughs> you get, drive home. Drive home then. Drive home. <laughs> Nigga, you gonna Slop be in danger. Ass. Nah, Slop you in danger. No, I'm gone. No, I'm leaving now. Nah, nah. You ain't put other people in danger? They healed him. That's not him. my fault. <laughs> Whose fault is <laughs> it? <laughs> See, he don't care about the community. <laughs> Jesus. No. Uh, I believe you have to hold your hands out and then say it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus. He don't do that. That's, that's rude. Those people work really hard to come up with those fake uh, languages. Um, <laughs> Whatever she says at the end. Yo, I cannot believe. I, I cannot believe adults go. No, that's real. Like, right. look, watch me do it. Uh, um, so uh, here's a fucked up scene. A little bit of like just a sprinkle of racism. For no fucking reason. Um, uh, Ebony calls in the, ex- the exterminator. Uh, oh, that shit was hilarious. I'm sorry. That was- <laughs> no, no, it's funny. It was fucking out of the blue. Um, she, calls the, she, wow. she calls like an exterminator. Um, and he, he goes in the basement. He finds a fucking dead cat. He's an Asian gentleman. And um, <laughs> and, she, and he's like, yeah, it's going to be like $50. $60. 60 bucks. $60. And she was like, um, call the landlord. Uh, that's not how that works. And he was like, no, I get paid like, like as this shit is happening right now. Like there ain't no delayed nothing. And, um, and she was like, um, well, I don't have the money. He was like, all right, well, if you don't have the money, I'm gonna go put this fucking dead cat back. Like get the fuck out of here. And, um, so <laughs> Nate, the, the oldest son is like, all right, well, I, I got the money upstairs. So he, he goes upstairs and gets the money. Um, and, when the when the guy is leaving, she was like, "He's got the dead cat." And she's like, "Go ahead and cook that up with some soy sauce." I was like, <laughs> "I was like, that is so fucking unnecessary." I, I, I would. I, he should have put that cat back. I'd have uh, thrown it at her. You know? I'd have thrown that cat in her like, face, Joe. I fuck out of here. <laughs> I'd have fucking karate kicked that cat right in her face. <laughs> I was like, "Wow! Like, why? Why did? Why did you say that? Like, that was just that was." Uh, Again, oh, she's man. a terrible person. She's an <laughs> asshole. Dude. Like, bro, like that man ain't do nothing. He was just trying to get paid. Go home and, and fry that shit up. What did she say? Go home. She go home and fry that shit up with some soy sauce. <laughs> like good old fashioned racism. Good lord, it can be funny. Um, I mean, 
I laughed. Well, again, what was the significance of the, of the cat being in the basement? It's the just a, it's they're just eating like the cats. A, yeah. They're the eating the hair. dogs. <laughs> they're eating the dogs. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a red herring, right? It's it's because the movie doesn't want, want to let on yet that there is a haunting in this house. So it's just right. a red herring. Right. It's just a, it's it's a really it, it's nothing more than a warning about Haitians, if we're being honest. Um, <laughs> stupidest fucking rumor of all time, Jesus Christ. Um, so. So then we then we meet uh, Cynthia, uh, played by Monique, who is the um, kind of like her caseworker, right? <clears throat> and look, Monique is uh, Monique is an interesting character, right? Because or she's playing an interesting character because she she starts off like, "Hey, girl," you're like, "Oh, is that like her friend?" Like, nah. Like I hate you, yo. Like I really do. I I can't stand it. <laughs> no, nah, but she when she was in the car putting her makeup on, she was like, I got God, what excuse you gonna give now, bitch, or some shit like that, right? <laughs> like she it was yeah. I thought it was pretty clear that she was she was coming to be not necessarily confrontational, but um, this, is a, this is also another contentious relationship <laughs> in right, the movie. Right. One of many. Um so she's like, like Oh, <laughs> how's it going? Uh or actually she's like, Hey, you didn't call my office since you moved. Like what the fuck? And she's like, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't know I couldn't do that." Like, <laughs> you know, like knock it off. And so she's like, "Oh, high school going, kids?" And they're just all like, "I won't be really going though." Like, that's nah, good, it's good. And um, and then uh, she goes, "Yeah, I just went over to the school, and uh, shit isn't looking good. That good is not the word I would use because your kids ain't going to school enough." Um. And then she starts asking each kid, like, how'd you get all these bruises? And all the kids keep looking at the mom, which I'm like, yo, don't look at me. Don't do that. Like, just lie. Don't, don't. When you look at me, it implicates <laughs> me in your, your damages. Um, and then the one, the young son, uh, Dre was like, yeah, uh, I got hurt, like, at the playground. And uh, that's not a really good excuse. And um, so she basically is like, listen, um, you need to get your shit together. These kids don't know. These kids don't know where these bruises are coming from. And she was like, I don't know either. She was like, the fuck you mean you don't know? Like, get the fuck out of here. And, um, and then this is, this is another part where I had a real problem with the dialogue. Um, because she, she just immediately insults Alberta for really no fucking. <laughs> right. <laughs> she was like, yeah, uh, like you have a great day. Cynthia is like, no, you have a better one. Ebony. And your cockeyed mother. Like, yo, I'm standing right here. You're like, what did I do? Yeah. Why am I in this? So the way that people just talk to each other in this movie, I'm like, a grown adult. And the way they talk to kids. Like, you I can't just, get touched, yo. Like, you just, yo, you, you can't talk to people like that, yo. <laughs> You're going to get fucked up at some point. Like, this, this shit like it was for comedic effect, but like, what's the relationship between her and Alberta? Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, like, do At they work? have beef? Have Why they ever been <laughs> Okay, I, I guess I, they don't like each other either. Good lord! Like, like I'm sorry. But why? Like, <laughs> you know, whatever. Like that's not my fault. Like, I I didn't do anything. Um, so from there, I'm just gonna. This is the first time we see Anjanu Ellis. She's just yeah, kind of sitting there, fucking parked in front of the car, in front of the house, like a creep. taking pictures. Yeah, taking pictures. Um, and it's weird. Um. Then they have a birthday party for Shantae, who is the oldest daughter. Everybody is having a good time. It's all good. Omar Epps decides that he is going to dedicate a song, a uh, Barry White song, to His Cole. whole character is useless. His whole character yep. is useless. I, I don't understand why he's in this movie. I just don't understand why. Why do we even have a, a, love, a love arc at all for Alberta? Why? This nigga is treating Glenn Close like she is Sarah J. And I do not <laughs> understand her. <laughs> I really don't, you know. I and really you're don't. A real, like you're a real a, fucking asshole. Like what the fuck? <laughs> is, is, is that the person that Jesus and Murrow say looks like a Triple H? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. that is correct. Yeah. Y'all she mean, is though. more of a she is more of a fabric of the black community than this fucking Alberta character <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, niggas talk, niggas talking real reckless and mean on that woman. She got y'all niggas through some hard times. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that, yo. Get out. Clearly, 
<laughs> I'm just saying. She's a very popular person. Everybody know who the fuck she is. Um, so uh, that wasn't a, that wasn't a Barry White song. What are you doing? Was it not a Barry? I thought it was. No, uh, it was Lou Rolls. Rolls. Oh, is it Lou? Oh, Lou yeah, Rolls. That's, that's that's Lou Rolls. It's not Barry White. Sorry, I don't have the volume on. I apologize. Um, I find it gross. That this entire matter. Voice. I don't remember. I watched this earlier today. I don't um, I've said, but like you said, but you thought Barry White sung you'll never find. That's the problem. Yes, you're right. It has nothing to do uh, with the volume. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, I find this entire relationship uh, really weird and gross. Uh, it doesn't I, I, make any sense. I wasn't sense. a fan. I wasn't a fan at all. Like, um, is, but it's just really weird because, again, they're 25 years different in age like i'm good I'm, I'm i'm good not that there's anything technically wrong with that but i'm good um at one point uh ebony opens the basement door and dre is just standing there and he's fucking zoning the fuck out and she's like trying to like kind of wake him up and then he eventually does and then i don't know why her response is to just get fucking hammered drunk Okay, at your at your kid's birthday party, um, and she's like grinding up on a bunch of dudes. Uh, again, this is for a teenager's birthday party. That seems um, <laughs> weird. She's an alcoholic. Yeah, and um, yeah. So you know, like it, it's turned into like <laughs> like a weird adult house party. It's like okay, and her friend is like, "Look, uh, you acting like an asshole, basically." Um, and they kind of get into a bit of an argument. Um, and, you know, my friend calls her out. Like, bitch, I got to get up and go to sex. I got to work at sex at 9 a.m. You got a job, too. You need to be there and not drunk off your ass uh, tomorrow. So, like, fuck off. Because she's pissed that uh, her friend is acting like a dickhead uh, at, her, <laughs> at her kid's birthday. And then she calls her a sissy bitch. And, um, which was, you know, that's nice. I'm glad you guys are exchanging uh, pleasantries. Um, yeah, and then she says, you stank, you stanky pussy ass bitch. And then... Uh, Ebony goes, uh, never. Like, so <laughs> she's really proud of her, the, the fact that her pussy has never stank. So that's really important. I'm glad Lee Daniels put that into the story. Um, fast forward because my brain can't take much Again. more. Um, <laughs> I really fucking don't like this movie. Um, we see the kids like they're in school and, uh, TR, this is your favorite part. Like all the kids just start fucking wilding. Um, I guess the the demon possession shit gets uh gets cranked up a bit, and um, the little boy decides he's gonna. Well, Nate, the oldest son, he starts laughing at uh, his teacher talking about how uh, her brother oh, died of AIDS. Died from AIDS. And he just starts laughing uncontrollably. Um, Dre uh, is in class, asked to go to the bathroom, and then he just proceeds to walk to the back of the class and just take a shit right there. And um, and then the sister, she's in a singing class and she just starts having her period and just stands in front of everyone um, and just kind of bleeds. And then we see Dre uh, take his shit and throw it at his teacher and also eat it. Okay. okay. The eating yeah, part, I, missed I, the, I, missed the eating I, I part. saw the throw. No, no, no. She, yeah, she, I didn't see that part. she mentions that her son ate his own shit at school, like, later on. Oh, yeah. Because I don't need to see that. Not even if it's, you know, like... Not play- even if it's a what? Snickers bar or whatever. Like, yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> right. I don't need <laughs> it. Like, right. saying, saying it is enough. Uh, go ahead, TR. This is your favorite part of the movie. You were excited about this. Uh, I think this is where I paused the movie and was like, you know what? I All think right. I'm going to go to the dog park. And then completely forgot about it until... I saw it was con- under continue watching in Netflix. And I was like, I should probably finish this because I have to record this with the guys tomorrow. So that's how I feel about that scene. Um, no, it, no, but like, again, it's one of those things where I'm like, why? I wondered if Lee Davis forgot he was writing a horror movie at one point. Because like the, the way that, because like we, we see the, strange behavior in the little boy and the right. in the youngest kid but like the older two kids i'm like why how did we get here i don't know. i mean they tried to they tried to explain it later like oh the demon is like making his way through the children but like 
oh, okay, that's that's real flimsy. Like, uh, like I know all this shit is made up, but like, why not just have <laughs> multiple demons or whatever, right? Like, I I, I don't I don't know. I, whatever, yo, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I just I can't, I can't you know? I, like I can't like just uh, because I'm I can't bring myself to try and make sense of this because it's nonsensical and it it's it's supposed to be nonsensical, but at the same time, right? Like I feel like the movie's not following its own logic. It's not following any type of logic. So I yeah no right. it, it that that's the problem. It really isn't. Um. Don't want to do this. Um, All the kids are in the hospital, and and Ebony is like, "What's wrong with my kids?" And she gets mad at the one woman. Um, yeah, who's like the doctor? I'll, yeah, she's the doctor. She's like, mm, "Where them bruises come from, bitch?" <laughs> she's like, "What? Right. Yeah. Huh? You, you get mad bruises? at me? You, you, you get mad at me? <laughs> uh, yeah, because because I can't find nothing wrong. Well, I do see something wrong. What about the bruises on on their arms and shit? Yeah, you about and, to have uh, some bruises on your face, white woman. But and, you know uh, what? Go ahead. No, I was gonna go forward. So go ahead, make your. Make I was your gonna point. say that um, the 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 girl, she was like, "Yeah, the bruises. I, they I woke up with them," and she just says it like she's talking about the weather. I'm like, "But no, but for real, where did they come from?" Like, and she doesn't allude to anything strange going on. Not really. And this was right after like that. The like the banging in the house and the wall cracked and all this other shit. And the kids were in. This is you skip that part. Um, which is some wild shit happened that night before. And they're all kind of like scared to tell people, I guess, because they'd be like, these niggas ain't going to believe me. I don't, again, I don't know. I, you know, anyway. I'm just, I'm just going to say what Micah <laughs> said a little bit ago, which is whatever, yo, whatever. <laughs> so they eventually go home and, um, and, uh, uh, the mother is putting up a cross and, um, and 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 Ebony Jackson is like, I bet Jay will really appreciate this. Get that shit off my wall, right? <laughs> like she ain't trying. She ain't trying to right off. She ain't, get out of here. She she said uh, she said get that don't. She's like get that Jesus shit out of here or something like that. And and the mother's like Jesus saved me and he could save you. And then she did the fucking dickish ass Jay thing and said, well, tell Jesus to take that cancer out your body. God damn, yo! Like I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it is me. Yeah, you would. No, you I would. would. You no, wouldn't I say would. it to your. You mother, wouldn't say it to your mother. Like, no, <laughs> I would not say that to my mother. Else. No, I wouldn't but say that. Was... Why? Why would I say that? Jesus isn't real. That's silly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point. That's why you would say it. Right. That's why you would say it. No, I, no, here. I'm I'm too much of a dick. I would say Jesus isn't real. <laughs> Get science, and they'd be like, oh, but I tried. Okay. I'd be a dick about it. Yeah. Uh, that's true. That is me. Um, yeah. All right. Keep going. Fuck. Oh, this is this where so, they start? They about to fight in the parking lot? No, we the, we are we 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 already we already passed that. Yeah. Where she was like, "You down with niggas until it's time to be down with niggas or whatever." <laughs> oh, he oh, thought. Oh, like, he thought. As the kids say, he thought he ate with that line. He was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, I was like, "This is fucking corny." Yeah, like, it is. Right. Right. I don't give a fuck. Like, it's just stupid. This is when I found like, Paul like, Mooney said it this, I Paul realized that that character wasn't even a, a white woman in real life. I was like, so what the fuck was it? And Paul Mooney said it better, right? Yep. Everybody won't be in there until it's time to be in there. Like, get the fuck out of here, yo. Like, uh, see, right. again, this movie is just like taking shit and just remixing it, and there's nothing like original about it, which would be fine if this was a like, uh, uh, if this movie had like compelling characters and it doesn't um there's another meeting between uh between cynthia monique's character and ebony and um and we get a little bit of backstory about cynthia because ebony is like i'm not hitting my kids i'm not i'm not you could please believe me right and <laughs> and and she's like if you had maybe if you had kids you you'd understand i'm like god damn yo again Again, like this character is irredeemable. And, uh, <laughs> but this is the best. Back... Scene. This is the best scene in the movie, in my opinion. Like from a dramatic perspective, this is the best scene. I mean, I guess um, it's a low bar. Yeah, I, you know, there's nothing really remarkable about it. Like, you know, like you said, Monique is 
good at reading lines and conveying <clears throat> emotion when she is playing a certain type of character. She is. Um, it, but I don't know if she has a lot of range. But but the range she's in, she you're, you're right. She does a good job. She gives a backstory about her child uh, was hit by a car uh, and killed. So that's why she's like super adamant about like when I see bitches like you taking take, taking the kids for granted, it, it just it just makes me so mad. You right? Turn your fucking stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I, um. Yeah. There, there is, there's a lot going on in this movie. I'm gonna skip a bit. So Ebony's at the bar, uh, you know, at, at her happy place, and um, she comes out the bar, and Anjanu Ellis's character, Reverend Bernice James, comes out, and she explains that she is a Pentecostal uh, pastor, and uh, and she's like. I've been spying on you and I, and you got some, you got some, there's some strange shit happening, especially at that house. Let's go to Denny's and I'll tell you McDonald's. all about it. <laughs> they take oh, you to yeah. McDonald's. 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 Funny. <laughs> right. Right. Like this, that's, you know, and there's some he... like serious placement too. It's like Mick cafe. Let's talk about yeah, it. Right. <laughs> like, it's so fucking weird. When you want to talk about fucking demons, go to McDonald's. Um, <laughs> Fuck Starbucks. So, so she talks about this family that was like, you know, oh, it was a lovely family and, and I love them. Uh, it, meanwhile, the, the story is intercut by, by, um, Alberta getting like phone calls and some weird shit happening. And basically, uh, the pastor is like, yeah, there was a boy who got possessed by a demon and this demon was just running through. This demon was like a cold, right? Starts with the kid, runs through the whole goddamn house, right? And and there's this one scene where the 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 mother in this story took an axe and chopped the head off of her husband and shit. Yeah, this got like and, really gruesome for no reason. <laughs> I mean, she put low, yo, nigga, she did that shit, and then was like, oh. What did I do with the head? Uh, like, come on, yo! Like, what the fuck? Like, like, what? Why is that a? Why is that a line of dialogue, yo? What did I, I do with the, I the head? head? I found the head. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, why is that? Like, why is that a, a line, yo? Like, I. <laughs> what did I, I do with it? the head? Why are you asking? That's your first question. I know snapping funny. out of a train. She calmed his head with one hand. <laughs> Like this bitch kind of strong, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, like, really she was in the WNBA at the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> like the crowd of his head, she picked that bitch up off the floor like it was a goddamn balloon. I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> like the head is a little bit heavier than that, but all right. And she is because and she snapped out of the it. trance and shit, right? And then the the daughter came in because it's like what's all the hubbub bub and then the fucking <laughs> and then she went back into the trance like oh gotta kill you ah right and then she killed the whole fucking family meanwhile uh alberta gets uh gets gets assaulted by one of those monsters from lost uh <laughs> the, the the fucking smoke monster is it from lost or is it you remember that tr you remember that movie ghost with uh with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. <laughs> and those black it. shadows come <laughs> and take the like bad once. people away. Oh, you, I don't you have that. Oh, I'm, I have I'm seen it. You, but you I don't seen remember it. that, but I, I have seen saw, it. She saw a clip on YouTube. Don't lie. Don't yeah, she saw it. You saw the you know, what, 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 uh, what is the most famous scene in that movie? Since you've seen it, what's the most famous scene in whatever? That movie? Uh, what we go over and say about that girl being in danger? No, that is not you the saw most damn famous famous scene. That so movie. You saw a clip, you saw a clip. Get the fuck out of here, yo. Nah, you black as shit. No, it's you in danger, girl. You in danger, girl. That's the that's what you got from Ghost. You in danger, girl. That's what you got from Ghost. Is not the pottery scene? No, yeah, it's pottery scene. And uh, Fitz is in it. Fits from scandals in it. Yo, shut up. Yeah, he gets right, fucking. He, gets, <laughs> he is. 
<laughs> he gets fucking uh, attacked by the fucking demons. But no, it's the pottery scene with him and Demi Moore. Is it Demi Moore? And ghost? Yeah. It, 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 whatever. Okay. It don't matter. That's you right. in danger, girl. Okay. That's all she <laughs> took. No. I love that. That's your, that's your that's the most famous scene to you. No, nah, you black as shit. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, uh, that's hilarious, man. That's um, living in the meme generation. You're like, that's the meme I keep seeing. Like, <laughs> but I have seen the movie. That's I just don't remember it. No, we believe you. We believe that you believe that. Yes, no, we believe. <laughs> so I don't, uh, need so I don't need y'all meant to validate me. I know my truth. I, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Standing, we, hey, this is safe space. You not in danger, girl. <laughs> 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 so the, look, the 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 pastor is like. <clears throat> Yo, you got a demon in your house and you need me to come to deliver it, right? Uh, which is basically just an exorcism, but you know, whatever. She's like, it's not um, an exorcism. It's a, it's a negative it's, exorcism. <laughs> That's right. a different word for it. Uh, right. It, it, it's not the shining, it's the shinning. Right, exactly. <laughs> look, 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 like, listen, listen, audience, we're trying to get desperately to the title of this movie. We got to say it before we get out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's, we, that's yeah. definitely what that was. Mm-hmm. Uh, she said it. <laughs> so so she's like just take my card you don't need me right and Angel is good or um uh ebony goes home and there's a fire or some shit and 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 the demon has set the cross on fire and um and she wearing black drawers with white pants she's not supposed to do that uh, <laughs> <laughs> i just I was, I was just looking at her ass sorry i sorry um, I was like, why do you know that? They got, I was, I, it was Ooh. right there. Like you two like you two like to be wearing dark ass drawers with white ass pants. Like you wear flesh tones. All right, never mind. Um, <laughs> and the mother dies, yo. The mother dies. Alberta dies, yo. Alberta dead, yo. And and the and the little boy oh, comes the downstairs. Oh, the fabric of our community. Where are you? It's sad. To uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. At the dry cleaners, apparently, and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, the little boy comes down and he's like, "What's wrong?" Uh, he was he's just being real weird, right? And so the mother dies, and um, and uh, Cynthia Monique's character comes to check on the house, and she's like, "Huh, that's weird." Like the the the, the way these burn marks around this cross look kind of funny. And we cut to. Uh, nighttime and <clears throat> and Ebony is driving her kids in the rain somewhere and they're like, where are we going? Right? They being kids, right? And kids are annoying in cars, right? So she's like, where are we going? Where are we going? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's like, no, I don't know where we're going, but we gotta get the fuck out of that house because that house is cursed, right? And all of a sudden, a uh, little boy starts banging his head and and his, his, his pupils get all dilated and shit and 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 he sees he's freaking out and she stops the car and she runs into a a bar with like a weird like residential door on it for some strange reason <laughs> like i ain't never seen no no yeah. I, I i don't know so she's like white man help me help me white man my kids something's killing my kids and they're like what your kids are in danger let's go find out and then they they all go out in the rain <laughs> and the kids are okay. I was like, what's what's going on, guys? What's going on? So then we cut to her in a in a mental facility. Right? <laughs> help me, help me. Those white people are like, uh, let's have her committed, <laughs> like immediately, uh, which is just hilarious to me. Like, nah, that's cool. Yeah, just right this way to the hospital. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we there's a lot of nonsense going on in this movie. This yo. movie's too fucking long. Like, this this way, movie's can, really look, fucking you long, can, yo. You can skip. All right, so look, look, she look. talks. Just some inside baseball. You got six more minutes, and then we're at an hour and a half, and that's enough for me. So <laughs> yeah. we're, just, we're, just, we're just filling time at this point. Like, yeah. Okay, like, we're just filling time. All right, so I would, basically, I would love to get to the nigga babble at the end. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm cut to I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get us there. Right, so she the, the Ebony has me. Are we at the mental facility yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ebony is that. meeting. Okay. Ebony is meeting with the with the uh, with the Reverend, and and because because the people took her kids away, they were like, "Then we are gonna put the kids in a church foster home, 
uh, because you crazy and are unfit and your husband is in Iraq. Um, and, 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 and apparently the government doesn't take care of, uh, soldiers and their families, uh, apparently. Yeah. I mean, um, it doesn't seem that crazy actually, sadly. Uh, that's fine. Not fine, but like I buy it. That's um, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and she's like, all right, look, we're going to be prayer warriors, right? Like we're going to, we, we, we about to, we about to fight <laughs> the devil. See, nigga, I'm starting to, I'm like, my brain is already checking the fuck out. You know, like, <laughs> you know, like prayer warriors and all that other terminology. I'm like, <laughs> my attention stance, the span starts sliding very quickly out of frame. And we see the little boy, the little boy is convulsing and shit. He's getting his Reagan on, right? And he's like coughing up, uh, he's coughing up like, like milk and shit. Um, and, and, uh, Cynthia Monique's character is like, oh shit, I think she was right. And then she goes in to talk to the little boy and he's like, boy, what's your problem? What, what, what's, what's the matter with you? And he's just like, blah, 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 blah. And, and he jumps out the restraints <laughs> and then he fucking does a, and then he does a Spider-Man pose and Monique is just standing there, a mouth agape. Nah, yo. See, I feel like that nah, character would that. run the fuck out of there. Nah, I would've been gone, yo. The second he jumped out, any of the normal room, human being would be like, you know what? <laughs> you got it, my nigga. I'm gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> like right. you know what? I'm going with a fucking wall backwards. Okay. And then so, this fucking can, she goes to a she goes to a doctor and is like, hold on, hold on, the doctor's hold on. like, go ahead, hold on. So if you look up the Amon's haunting case, it has a Wikipedia, right? It, it's linked off of the. Oh, delivery. Yeah, I read that. If you read, they have a section which I think is hilarious called skeptical analysis of the event, which I find funny because that should be called reality <laughs> versus <laughs> you know, they're all fucking made up bullshit. <laughs> um, and they, speci <laughs> they specifically talk about this moment, yeah. right? And it's a, you know, because it, you know, it was reported that, you know, the, the kid walked up backwards uh, on the wall. It says, while walking up the wall backwards incident failed to mention was that the boy's grandmother was in fact holding his hand throughout, which allowed the boy to push himself against the wall and walk up it. But they forgot when, when they were mentioning like, oh, this happened. Like, yeah, someone was holding your hand while you did it. But okay. Uh, yeah. This is a movie, not a documentary. You know no, no. I mean? But that's what she said. That's what the Ebony character said happened. But they... She left out the fact that the grandmother was holding uh, the hand. So just uh, a, just an aside. But no, this whatever. is real. This really <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, like, like, this happened, like, by the way, there's a camera. Nobody, I, I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody is, is standing. I don't think anybody thinks that this is based. Is is like yes, true? That's what yes, they said. did. Nah, yo, they said they said based, based on, on based story. on, and inspired by nah. our fucking. That's that's their cop out. Yeah, you you think anyway, they, people know the difference? I'm ready to cop out of this movie. This shit's <laughs> look. We only got a minute and twelve seconds. Keep going. <laughs> look, they 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 um they it's the fucking doctor is talking to Monique, and he's like, "Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for this." And he's like, "Nigga, shut the fuck up." Meanwhile, <laughs> uh. Ebony is pulling a, a an Agent Forty Seven and and you know disguising herself in plain sight to kidnap her son from this uh, from this facility, right? Um, because he's where the 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 root of all of this problems are, right? So they perform this exorcism. That's not really an exorcism because it's a legally distinct exorcism, uh, and they strap the kid on the bed and they have a a, a prayer warrior. In a polka dot, uh, Missy Elliott style, circa nineteen, circa nineteen ninety nine, two thousand, two thousand one, uh, outfit, and they throwing holy water on the boy, and the boy is just like, he's, he's trying his shifting. best. You know what I mean? He's trying his best. <laughs> and and uh, so apparently, this demon can like change form at any time. Yeah. Right, like between like the 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 between camera cuts and shit, she's like, "Oh, and don't freak out, but the demon is gonna try and confuse you by turning into loved ones, right, so they turn so the demon turns 
from the boy. Let me change. Into... Let, me, let me look up the skeptical analysis. <laughs> this happened. <laughs> she he turns. The, the the demon turns from the boy to the demon, a demon version of the mother. Why? I I don't know. But whatever. Of Alberta. Of Alberta. Of Alberta. Right. Of Alberta. Um, no, I do know why. It's so so Glenn Close could say, I smell your nappy pussy, right? And it, it, yeah, yeah. And, that's he call, it. and she like calls the, her the meme of the fucking week. Yeah, right. And, she, and she's, uh, got, she's got demon teeth. It looks like uh, how your teeth look right before they give you veneers when they shave them all down. That's what they look like. So, yeah. No, this is great. This is top notch shit. Glenn Close. So. <laughs> Apparently all the shit <laughs> Apparently all this shit is affecting the other kids as well. Like, yeah, like they're the not in the house. Who, right. They're they're, in they're foster at church. Care. At they're a church. foster care at a church. You're not I safe in a church. Not for the devil. Not for the devil. Not for like, Lucifer. What the fuck? So the, what's the, the fucking the, point? I don't know, guys. It seems like it's all made up and the rules uh, just do whatever they want in a fiction. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So the, the, <laughs> the, daughter, the, the daughter gets stigmata. The, the son is, uh, is okay. fucking beating his own ass and biting his flesh off and shit. Uh, and then the demon, as the demon named Trey, embodied by Dre, is fighting <laughs> Anjanu Ellis's character, and um, yeah, Anjanu Ellis's character like literally gets invisible choke slammed and fucking gorilla pressed and shit, and just like thrown down. And, and <laughs> she was and, fighting and, you know, a predator. Like this is a real <laughs> <laughs> predator can kill a baby. Can we just discuss the, the fact that this chick is a fucking failure? <laughs> like she yeah. sucks at her the job f- because she didn't fucking, fucking beat the fucking thing back twenty years ago and she lost again. They're yeah, she's a fraud. She's a fraud, yo. She's 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 as she's as much of a of a exorcist as as them fake ass psychics are. Uh, so like I mean, the, the, like the the the, uh, the what is it? The the guys died in the uh, in the exorcist, but at least they saved the girl. Right. <laughs> one dude threw himself out the fucking window. She ain't even do shit. She's like, oh, you got to do it. Like, well, good, like job. Anjani- good job. Good like job, Bernice. <laughs> Anjanu um, Anjani- Ellis is too good of an actress for this. Yo, we just did yes. Origin, yo. Like, she, we just did Origin. Like, why is she in this? Did she just buy a new boat? Like, did it just have a payment? She was just like, let me just get. It's a work, man. Right? It's a black. black well, yeah, it's work. Look, I get it. I, I, I like how. Audrey and Alice's character is just like Ebony. I'm dying, and I was like, okay, <laughs> clearly. What you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> right, great. Now I got to go at it alone. You ain't like, teach thanks, me nothing, I guess. <laughs> like she's like, here, all I have is this little vial of Avion water. Like, <laughs> take that, <sighs> and then she does. Like you know what you have to do. It's like no, I do. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Right, and she starts pop blocking, and, and you know, <laughs> so the so <laughs> the demon named Trey, embodied by the boy Dre, goes into the basement, and uh, and and she, you know, she goes down there, right, the place that she never wanted to go to, no, uh, no. but she has to, right, to <clears throat> to face her to face her demons and to save her child, right, and she sees the boy, and she's like. She got this little thimble of water and she's just like, <clears throat> like fucking Razor Ramon and shit. And then this demon is like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You don't even know how to do it. Like, get the fuck out of here, right? Yo, like, yeah, the demon's literally is like, you don't even know what you're doing. Like, <laughs> you ain't on my level. Get the fuck out of here. Like, okay. And then the demon turns into uh, a demonic version of her. And like uh, Tiara said, this is her literally facing her own demons. Uh, because this is the point of this character, I suppose. Um, and she has a, she has a. <laughs> this part is also funny. <laughs> th- yeah, I don't even know. I, I don't even know where to begin with this. She right? gets choked. <laughs> she gets choked, Lynn. 
That was awesome. Yeah, she gets she gets she gets choke slam, but like like she's like beating her head against the wall, and I'm like, is the demon doing this? Because the demon is looking like, huh? Like what the fuck? Damn girl, we're like crazy. Uh, all I can think, and I, I think I said this out loud as I was watching, I'm like, block your, block with your hands. Like, you, you just, your head's just <laughs> smashing against the ropes. Put your hands out, please. Jesus Christ, it's making me uncomfortable. Um, and, uh, you know, at her, up. at her lowest, at her lowest point, um, when she's about to die, she, she calls for Jesus and, um, and, uh, you know, her life is literally yeah. flashing before her eyes. Mm. And um, and it looks like she's dead, right? Like I interpreted this scene of her in blackness as uh, her being dead and seeing God, right? Um, but you know that's just sure. me. And uh, and apparently God is like, all right, look, I'm gonna give you one more chance, right? <laughs> and she and she literally responds. And she's like, give me back. She's in like, the same spot too, which is really convenient. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's yeah, yeah. Like what was the, what the fuck was the demon doing? Like, all right, I killed her. I choked her. I, I, I put my foot on her neck. Right. And then it's just like, huh, look at the fucking dirty ass decor of this. And then she turns around like, oh shit, she respawned. Right. But she <laughs> fucked up. Right. Because when you have the enemy uh, behind, when you're behind the enemy, you don't give away your fucking position. By screaming, give me back my son or whatever, right? <laughs> she said, I don't love you. I was like, God damn, why, why, why <laughs> again? <come> at <laughs> why are we being so rude to one another? Perhaps we could talk nicely. <laughs> but, you know, like, the, she, but, you know, now all of a sudden, uh, she's like, the, the spirit lives within me. I'm a child of God. We, we just, we just got there. We just got there. Finally, right? man. We just, Finally. we just got there. And, and she's like, and the demon is just like, no, the demon ain't even putting up a fight, yo. Like the demon like, was like, "Don't, we all we got." He was like, "I was no. just playing. I was just playing." Oh no! Stop. Let <laughs> yeah, I me mean, live down prank, here with the water. It's a prank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you play too much. <laughs> <laughs> and why is the demon mad that it's catching on fire? Isn't that like the whole like? Isn't that what demons? Isn't that the whole hell thing? I don't yeah, know. like that's your whole fucking environment. What you mad at? I don't know, man. I don't know, but um, but uh, eight minutes yeah, over. You know, and we need to be <laughs> the. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Uh, this is the end, man. She, yeah, this is this is the this is this is the end, bro. Um, right. she's like, the, the, we get one final shot of the kids fucking wilding out, and um, and uh, you know, she she's on her knees, you know, uh. uh asking for forgiveness and speaking in tongues and shit. And the demon is like, yo, what the fuck is this, bro? Like, get out of here. Like, I'm a, I'm a cat. <laughs> right? Like, that's what happens. Cats are demons. They all, I, I, I they all cats and shit. Um, and, and yeah, the, the, the sunlight came through and, and set that demon on fire. Uh, the demon who I thought was embodied by the child, right? Because the demon who took physical form just took the form of the child. So I'm like, so, so is the child, the child burned child? alive? <laughs> <laughs> like, did the child die? Right? I, yeah. I would but, have loved it more if that little boy had died. Because I'm like, wow, a risk. Uh, that's take up. I wow. mean, like you, you, like you had to pay for your, you had to pay for your, you know, transgressions right like yeah but but no the demon gets sucked back down to hell and um you know for some reason uh caleb mclaughlin is is um in a in a crucifixion pose and his his wounds are healing and again these two kids were wastes right like they were they were nothing they didn't have anything to do um they they tried to kill his brother but like, who gives a shit, right? And um, she wakes up and she's yeah, like, we just "Over that, he just tried to drown his brother." We're like, yeah, yeah no, he did try to drown his brother earlier. We did, yeah, he tried to drown his brother. Forgot all about that. Mm-hmm. I, whatever, and what um, exactly? Whatever, <laughs> whatever. And, and I'm like, oh shit, is the is the is the boy like really gone? But no, the boy's there. The boy's there, and um. And uh, you know, 
next day, um, Monique is like, "Hey, girl, I believe you," uh, and <laughs> and and Ebony is all fucked up, right? Because she just essentially got in a fight with herself or some fight club shit and um and was like god got me yo and uh and she was like and 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 cynthia was like i wish i had that kind of faith and everything gives her a cross and was like now i have it yeah this will fix uh, everything that's how it works (laughs) that's how it works oh are you so sad about your dead child here have some uh cheap jewelry i got at the mall and uh, six months later, uh, she got her children back. Thank God. And, uh, they got to move the fuck out of uh, Pittsburgh, but they go, they're going from from uh, from the frying pan into the fire. They're going to Philadelphia now yeah. uh, <laughs> to be back with uh, to be back with uh, her husband, who I guess came back from Iraq. Boy, have I got a story for you. I mean, uh, good, you're good not going to believe this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I'm not. <laughs> I so, have a bit of a skeptical yeah. analysis. Um, <laughs> yeah. So got the she, they got the, they got the unmitigated goal to be like, here's the picture of the real woman. And here's the picture of the real house. Like this shit was real. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. yo. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You know Ghost Adventures? You ever seen that show Ghost Adventures? I've they, heard of it, they, yeah. Be, yeah, they, they actually went to the house one year. Yep. That's mm. what they demolished it. Strange Turns out, honestly, the, well, unfortunately, the, the youngest kid, he died when he was 17 in real life, which sucks. Oh, damn. Wow. That's, yeah. Oh, that stinks, man. Damn. Like two years ago. It's fucked up. I don't know what happened. They, they didn't say what happened to him. He, did, he was just like, yeah. Oh, I think, so, I yeah, think that was this uh, like legitimately not mentally well is is my guess. The Latoya Amon's person. Well, yeah, it, yeah the story is kind of wild. I, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily believe well, this one. But again, like feels like a bit of a Munchausen. House. It, it feels more like, like a Munchausen syndrome sort of situation. Yes, it's a. This this movie is definitely a whatever out of five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I, I don't think Lee Daniels is the person to do a horror movie like this. I would have rather him no. just do, like a kind of a straight film. Like this is does not seem like a genre. Um, <laughs> a straight film. No. No, I, you know what I mean? Like just a story about like a family or something. I know, like that. I know what you mean. I'm just. Uh, it, was a, it was a joke because he's gay. Is he? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I saw. Well, I guess I should have known that. I saw. I saw him <laughs> wearing a a fishnet shirt, and I was yeah, like, "That's fishnet. weird." I'm like, nigga, this is like oh, this is get a fucking movie. Here. What are you doing, <laughs> <laughs> bro? Like, you didn't have to. Uh, wear it. No, I mean, no, I agree. He shouldn't have done this movie um, or this type of movie. This whole cast done by a real like horror director. This movie probably would have been like years better. I it think wasn't. he just wanted to try it to see if he could do it. He did it. I mean, he's a better director than fucking Tyler Perry. Clearly. Oh, 100%. And I think he can get he, he gets better performances out of his actors. It's just again, he doesn't need he doesn't know what the fuck subtlety is, which just drives me fucking crazy. No, he does not. Was The Butler his last movie before this? Cuz that's been a minute. Girl, I don't know. No, I think he's had more movies than that, right? I think I feel like it's been a long time since we've done a Lee Daniels movie. Oh, Concrete Cowboy. We did that. That was good. I actually enjoyed that movie. Pimp Concrete. Uh, no, he didn't direct that. Um, yeah, The United States versus Billy Holiday. That was the movie before this. Uh, I actually like that movie. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I like that too. It was okay. It, it, it was. Yeah. It was. Be- it was way oh, better than did. I thought it would be. Oh, he produced Concrete Cowboy. I see. Yeah, so yeah. the butler was like besides the United States versus Billy Holiday, the last thing was that before that was the butler. All right, All right well, there you go. Did he direct Paperboy? Okay. But uh that one white dude. Um, okay, cool. Uh that was something. So there you go. That was a uh, film. Uh, it was a movie. It was a movie. movie. All right. Well, we will be back next week with a preview episode for episode two sixty nine. Uh look. Uh, that one I think we're going to have a bit more fun with. We already know the movie, so uh, we look forward to that. Uh, look, if you're wondering what that movie is, you know, 
the person looks like a cat um, who's in it. So <laughs> take a guess. Um, all right. We will see you guys next time. See you. Later. Bye. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies past and present. And every other week we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.